Hello again. It's Sean. I'm back again. This is part five of the NX01 Enterprise build. So I'm going to take you through on the guide what I've done. You can see all the purple. That's all the uh, parts I've hand painted now. So I basically went around the entire outer rim of the saucer with the to me, a gray panel line accent. I just recently had to touch it up because I realized it works better if you shake up the bottle. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot that. And I did the same on the bottom. You see the secondary hull also. And of course, on the side, not very much on the side except in the side trenches. That's interesting. Side trench shows windows. And yet, when I look in there, well, it's never going to focus, I don't think. I can't see any windows, so I'm just leaving it as it is, with just a bit of medium gray. Anyway, I'll show you the nacelle first. I did the um, green light, little green light, that's on the starboard nacelle. I did some panel line accent on the front here, and the medium gray ring. And on the bottom, I did that little piece in medium gray, although it really blends in. Oh, and, and also I did the Sahara Gold on the back there, just, just like the original Enterprise of Archers. Both sides. There you go. Oh, you can really see the panel line accent there. Let's see how I missed a couple spots. Look. You see, let me get it out of the shadow. You see right there? I missed a couple spots. I'm going to be right back. When I do those, I'm going to see if I can set this phone up on the tripod. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Phone's on the tripod now. Just got to angle the tripod a bit so you can get the uh, mat in view. There we go. Stabilize the tripod. There we are. That's better. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to do the panel line accent on the part I missed. Strange, until I got it into camera view. I didn't know I'd missed it. There you go. Here we are. Well, that's why you have the panel line accent. It really accentuates the uh, detail much better than the Medium gray does. Medium gray just seemed to blend right in. Okay, so now, oh, right at the end, of course, yep. Okay, you can see that um, nacelle now is fully done. So I'm going to check the other one, just in case I miss something. You never know. Oh, yeah, I missed a few. Here we go. I realized shaking up the bottle worked a lot better. Panel line accent showed up a lot stronger after that. So that's going to be my substitute for the medium gray. There we go. Oh, yeah, there were so many panel lines I missed. Of course, I couldn't tell because I didn't have proper panel line accent on there, did I? I do now. There we go. Okay, and that, that reminds me, I'd better check the bottom of this other nacelle. No, it, it got everything. Good, okay. So that's good. All right, so that that's the nacelles. They're all actually. Now that I've shaken up the bottle and strengthened everything, I can do the uh, the front of the nacelles by that ring there. Much better than I could before. There we go. Oh yeah, that's much better. There we are. Excellent. Good. 
Okay, see? Now the front ring is doing much better also. Okay, so now I gotta do this end of this. <laughs> there, front ring, front details, front details again, front ring, and then the underside. And the great thing about panel line accent, it doesn't rub off like um, other paint will. Okay, so that's great. There we go. So then the cells are done. So I'll show you the secondary hall now. As you can see, I did the fantail. And I did the nacelle grills. I decided that I would use the panel line accent instead of the medium gray. It would just work a lot better. Now, when you look at the instructions, the instructions said, do... It specifically said light gray here. That light gray I used, which was a light steel gray, it's almost the exact color of the royal light gray, so it doesn't stand out at all, but I don't mind that. And of course, I also, for Star Trek 50 years, I did antique gold around the deflector housing, and because this is the 2016 Excelsior kit, and I'm building this NCC, which came out in 91, silver anniversary there. And of course, as you can see now, the white, white windows on both sides. You toothpick, yeah. And of course, there's the deflector dish. It's deflector housing, and it's deflector antenna, which, from all angles that I can see, looks uh, pretty good to me. Pretty even. Okay, so that's the deflector. Now, of course, the meat and potatoes of tonight's update is the saucer section. So first of all, I'm going to touch up a few other details now that I have refreshed the panel line accent, and I'll be back to show you the saucer section. Thank you for waiting, I'm back. So, I've refreshed the panel line accent all over the bottom of the saucer, in the trenches, did the medium gray here and here, that's the saucer impulse engine housing. Uh, the two red and green navigation lights, little blue lights in the center, rear torpedo tubes in red, all the windows in white, and then you turn it front ways. You'll see I refreshed the uh, white in the saucer rim, four forward torpedo tubes, and then I refreshed the copper in the deflector dish. Now that is the... Um, that's the bottom of the saucer. Now, if I flip the saucer over carefully. So, I refreshed the panel line accent all the way around the saucer, did the white windows, and I have not done anything else because it's all supposed to be pale green or gray. There's no other pan. I mean, I did the medium gray there. I refreshed the panel line accents on all the nacelle housings. So basically a lot of detail painting as per the diagram. I do see a few sunken areas that I might be able to fill with the panel line accent here. Just a, just a couple now that it's uh, refreshed, of course. There we go. And of course I did all the spots around the bridge. So we touch them up again. There we go.
Yeah, there certainly is a lot of panel line accent to do. Oh, right, the top of the uh, nacelle housing on the inside. Here we go. All the way along. Turn it over. I mean, turn it around. There we go. And since I'm on the top saucer now, I might as well refresh everything that I used the panel line accent for. So there, there, there. Yep, no, I'm getting everything now. And it's really uh, showing up better. So it does make a bit of a color difference now that I've got everything uh, working. Yeah, always remember, when you're using panel line accent, make sure you shake up the bottles. No wonder I couldn't see anything before. And, of course, I already did, I went around the rim of the sauce. I already refreshed everything. So that's, um, that's all I'm doing tonight for this video. This is part five. I'm just going to let the, uh, the ship dry now, let the panel line accent settle, and then tomorrow I'm going to start. I'll start with the Aztec decals on the secondary hull because it's the part that is least, uh, you know, there's not much to disturb. I mean, you see the nacelles, how they have stuff sticking out of them. The saucer has all the windows and stuff that need to dry, but the secondary hull doesn't have much at all that got any detail painting. So it'll be the first one that gets the, um, it will be the first one that gets the, the Aztec decals. I'm using the light pattern because it's the TOS styled NX class which according to memory beta is actually called the Columbia class. So anyway, I'll, I'll come back tomorrow when I've done that and talk to you all later and have a good night.